Microphone check, one, two, skip everything. You already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast, episode 30. We here, yeah. Episode 030. 030. Your age, how you did me last time? No. I will be 30 this year. Psych, I'm 22. 22. 22. Gemini Scorpio podcast. With a boo. Yeah, the gang is here. Oh, you want to rap? She was she, that wrong? I was, yeah, I've been rapping all morning. But yeah, man, we here. And it's on Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to everybody. Happy Father's Day. Mm. Happy Father's Day to my little Zeddy. Oh, thanks, baby. Little Poppy. Thank you, baby. Thank you. You're thank welcome. You. Uh, happy Father's Day, man. I'm just so proud of all the black men that are fathers and role models and, and leadership that's really leading the way. So I definitely want to give special shout outs to all y'all. All y'all. Because it is not easy to step up and do the right thing when generations have shown us to walk away is an easy thing so we appreciate yeah. all of that that shit tight like what the but that's what you no, said I'm too yeah that's what i said god damn <laughs> why that chorus so tight <laughs> you know what guys do that i just think it's so funny that's what she said <laughs> that's it you see that that's what he said but yeah man how was the week how, how, how was your week it's how was my week? week i just got back from arizona i got a real mean tan if you see it you see it you're so uh my week was cool i went to arizona to see my friend for her birthday um we had a cute little situation little airbnb little chef little pool uh you know real lax trip you know what i'm saying so how's your week babe i don't know it seemed like it just everything is running into each other now. Facts. like it seemed like it was Facts. so fast like we just recorded yesterday or something no seriously like that. i was just here like i was here 29 episodes ago <laughs> i'm always here now looking back it definitely looking back it definitely looked like we definitely been in it for the long run but as far as like 29 versus 30 it was like damn right 28 right like that shit just happened right facts 27 just happened <clears throat> yeah. how was y'all week it was great man i can't complain write some more books drop the post finally it's been like yeah years since I dropped the post. let's go it was really cool good yeah. shit and then juneteenth bro you yeah juneteenth mm -hmm. was cool shout out to uh wyman too man congratulations yes you know sir. okay yeah. congrats wyman what now you gotta give give me the letters is it omega mu alpha no what is it five mu alpha five mu alpha five five mu alpha. yeah, yeah. yeah five shout out to wyman he was in a music fraternity you know when you watch a uh, drum line and shit and they be like yeah <laughs> yeah that's you know my favorite part when the well no was, it's not he no, had a, not, and he had the big drum different. he was just actually, like uh, gotta bang that shit but now it's different <laughs> because they got they got a it's a band fraternity no, and no, then no, it's a music fraternity. It's so all, it's all so together it's all music fraternity yeah, it's, it's so the band and the music is all together uh, okay, so Kappa Kappa Psi is the band, right? It's, it's a band fraternity. And then you got a music. All right, bet. All right, all right. Very all right. cool. Very oh, cool. So I wonder how yeah. like they probably be like holding like um pianos up and shit. Like I don't know. Like, <laughs> like I'm trying to figure out how, how you get hazed. How you get hazed? <laughs> <laughs> you better tell him. You better tell him what. It's a, it's a, it's a, it, 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 it should have. So find me office of American Incorporated is a non-hazing organization. We do not conduct or do I, any such things at all. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's like one of my pet peeves when like cameramen start talking on the camera. <laughs> Yeah, he, he had to clarify, yeah, okay? Because yeah, you would have clarified, nigga would have like stop. If it was if it was for shit off. Omega, this nigga would have stopped the let, fucking I said, let him get his shit off. Let, let him get his shit off. He was like, hold on, everybody stop the podcast, not us, hey, man. right? I know, I know. Okay, you know what I'm saying? He excited. It's, it's all good. I you love should it. be excited. I love it. That's good. I love it. Why is it bothering you? I don't know. It's just like leave it alone. I wish the same amount of did you you paid attention to these chords did you, did you do all the chords in your room by all the equipment that's in there or all the equipment that stays out all the time I wish you care about those chords leave this chord alone okay mm, okay now uh, you care about chords I've been complaining about chords just, this motherfucker yo y'all don't understand how much equipment Jay needs his own equipment house not even a room he needs one house just for all his equipment at this point I'm tired I be tripping over cameras you know what I'm saying? Bumping into lights. You be trimming over cameras? You gotta watch where you're going and be careful. <clears throat> you wanna break some shit. That shit is expensive. <clears throat> he needs his own equipment house, okay? Let's go into it, man. Let's get into it. Let's get okay. into the podcast. Where we'll we at with the it? the podcast. <clears throat> All right. 
So, wait, how was your, you, you all right? You know what I'm saying? How you feel on Father's Day? You just jump it in, just relax, slow down. I do the break, same set. exact thing all the time. And I oh, think- Oh, now you tired, you no, tired. No, we just were moving on. Wait. How's your Father's Day going it's, so far? It's good, I went to work. I'm working right now, it's lit. We're going to leave, we're going to get, go have some, to get some fun. get some crabs. they? Shut, oh man, oh my God. Shall they be wanting to do the extra stuff? And I'd be like, yo, I want to do this. Nah, we can go out to dinner. I'm like, babe, I just want crabs and kick it. She's like, nah, because you deserve more. I'd be like, uh, <laughs> but that's not what I want to do. Well. Do you feel, who complains about such a thing? I'm not complaining, he's, but, that, and I he's, wanted to ask yo, that he's, he's a simple man is all. He's, that's he's a simple these man. These privileged motherfuckers be complaining. Well, we just recapped on our old episode, episode criticize, criticize, criticize. Maybe I should ask: Is it is it is it wrong when let's say, well, not whether you draw a line, but like, if I want to do something right, but it's not as much as you would like, but then you do like extra, and I don't like it. Is is am I wrong for that? No, you're not wrong. I had to say today. So like, Jay and I really wanted to go get crabs. I'm like, but I want to go to Del Fresco. So we're going to Del Fresco's. But they're like, I want to get crabs. I was like, oh, I guess we'll go get crabs. And I was like, because if I force them to go, it's really going to be for me. So I was like, we'll just go get crabs. Right. Ooh, say, say, say. And that, say, that made say. me think. Like I think we talked about this before. Like, um, it might be a wild analogy to y'all, but I think it's very close. So I feel like. When it comes to like engagement, like um people engage um proposing to people, right? So like if a girl is shy or she don't like all the attention, and you like you know I want to go all out for my girlfriend, I'm gonna propose to her in front of a stadium. Yeah. That might not you know what I'm saying like to you it might be like yeah. yo this is really dope yeah. like I'm doing I'm going all out for you, but to right. her it's like this but is I feel too like much. if you know I mean I can't say that because I know you and I still be like no we gotta do it the most. So but like I feel like if you know your partner you know they're not gonna like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, for me, you know, I need the stadium. I need the balloons in the in the sky with the jet going across saying, will you marry me? I need to fly down from a hot air balloon and make sure when you put on a hair balloon, I want those, you know, box flowers that last for a year and make sure I want to like fill with it. And then... Nigga, you writing this down? These are clear, <laughs> these are clear and concise. Like, and then when we come off the hot air balloon, I want all my friends, everybody just right there. I want to see, you know what I'm saying? What's the little smoke and colors and when it's coming around? You know what I'm saying? I want to be in a nice flower field, you know, with roses or sunflowers because I love sunflowers. Say, so. <laughs> don't forget. That's how girls be. And then you get your man to sing. Yeah, you know and, that, and make but. sure not. I want fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck, fuck. Nah, you can have more than after sing. You can have more than. She about to say sing. fuck more than after. I want. <laughs> I want Gerald Levert or I don't know. Nah, nah, we can have, she like, I need a holographic Michael nah, Jackson more singing. After, more, than, more than after going to sing at our wedding for sure. So, boom. I don't think more than after going to sing at my wedding. I don't Why think. Why not? Just, he I, done mastered a happy birthday. I'm so sorry because I know that fucks up the audio. <laughs> so, you know, we're going to have more than after singing at our wedding. Just at the reception, though, not at the actual wedding. All That's right. when it could get ghetto. All right, let's get to the podcast, please. So, boom, my talking segment one talking points are how to be there for your partner while you are all going through something simultaneously. So you going through a thing, I'm going through a thing. You we on going your period, I'm for, oh my bad. I was too personal. I just feel like I think it's so rude when guys assume that you're going I'm because I'm on my period as if I if I wasn't on my period I, it, this happened the same exact way that I went and trip out like mm. um, what? I, I don't Jay agree. swear his analogy is proven that every time it's we have proven. an argument is okay. because I'm on my period let me tell you let's get he to swears it. let me tell you how last week right I need a, a motherfucking uh <clears throat> I need an award for this shit <laughs> so Sade is like I was upset whatever can we we'll skip all that so we end up talking and Sade is just mad, like da 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 da. I'm like, babe, I love you. We don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's not even tr Niggas trip. Niggas love dumbing down. I'm not dumbing it down. I'm like, after you let's yelled, not say. After you yelled back at me and was like, da, 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 hands moving, and he was like, you know what? I love you, babe. No worries about it. Like, fuck out of here. You love leaving out parts of the story. All I'm saying is, I was like, I love you. We don't have to be mean to each other. We don't have to say things that we're going to regret. Let's just leave it alone. And I was just like, you know, I was home and I'm like, damn, like she's probably just, 
I, I, like I'm just thinking to myself, like I wonder when she's gonna get over it. So she comes back or whatever, and she's like, yeah, I'm almost at my period. I'm like, so when you was leaving, you was on your period or coming on your period? She's like, yeah, I'm like, wow. Cause I've been, if y'all, if y'all follow the podcast, you know I've been saying this. Every time, never fails. Every time she get on her period, we have a big argument. And it's funny, I wanted to ask you, but for the argument, right, I swear on everything. But I didn't know how to ask because I didn't want to be rude. I was going. It I was is like, rude. No matter I wanted what you to say, ask, every time you say it, it's fucking I, rude. I wanted to ask. Every wanna, time you intertwine the fact that my feelings are incorporated with my cycle, it's rude because I can be just as upset without the motherfucker. Wait, thing. I'm not saying you can't, but I think it's proven itself. Right, I'm not gonna lie. When I am coming on, or like you know, what I'm saying I'm probably a little more sensitive and things that I would normally let slide, probably not going to slide that week. I probably it's straight like that. Like I'm not gonna lie to say that, but Jay swears. It's Every time, and I hate I when he do say stuff. Every time. I hate when he do stuff. He like, what you on your period? I don't even be. I'm like, motherfucker, that's rude to say to women, as if our feelings have to be tied to something for us to feel that way. Like, I can just simply feel that way. I'd be like, what the fuck, bro? Now I ain't gonna lie. This one time, you know what I'm saying? He happened to be correct. <laughs> <laughs> when it so happened, he happens to be correct only because like I didn't even know like it was coming. So <laughs> I'm sorry, TMI, but I didn't know. So it's like, all right, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It happened to be early, so it just doesn't even make sense. Uh, man, listen, and I can't make up the just the proven facts. It is what it is. I was about to ask her before it happened. Right, it's crazy. I was gonna ask her, like, yo, um. I think we should try something new. Like, let me know when you about to come on your period. That way, so I what, can. So you can tone down. Yeah, so why I can you brace. Do it when I'm on that. No, why you just... can't just do it. You know what I'm saying? In general, like, because why gotta you... be because it's a special time. Of because what women why don't. Why can't the other three weeks just be like, you know what? I ain't even gonna do that. Because to you. You I know think what I'm saying? it only gotta be. It's then? not that. Alex, it's... what? What it's... you got to say? I was gonna ask. So should we just act like you always on your period? Like just, just. It's not even that. It's just like that way. Would that make What she don't understand is like I think is a woman and Scorpio. Things we won't blame it on both. Oh, so Scorpios, it's it worse and worse. Than Scorpios, those thing. Scorpios have you know how like people don't believe it, but I believe in it. This zodiac shit be true. Scorpios have this thing, right? Like they wanna, it's like they wanna bite back harder than you bite. Like that's they wanna sting you harder than they, than you stung them. Okay, sometimes they think that you're stinging them when you're not trying to sting them so they try to sting back harder and they be like whoa I didn't even mean that so one and I say a woman thing because I feel like women just hit below the belt period like that's just them like you'll get in an argument with a woman that's what your little dick ass nigga like whoa like, what are you, you talking said about was, I mean I think maybe you know what I'm saying those jeans might not fit what wow you little dick ass nigga right, like, you said my jeans don't fit it's like whoa so, I'm trying to help you out here so all I'm saying is maybe if we do something new and we put a schedule of when she's I mean, coming we've been period. together going on three years. You should know. Now your shit changed, but you even said that was early. So I don't so know. So how you know? It's exactly. So actually, when you I, asked me if you would have asked me, I would have said no. Right. Because I wasn't. I didn't ask you because in that moment, again, I wasn't even thinking about a period thing. I'm just thinking about just being honest. You got to learn, right? You got to learn from your mistakes. So in the past, <laughs> we get in arguments, and like she'll say something that I think is really disrespectful. Now I'm defending myself like yo I don't I ain't fuck with whatever I'm I'm retaliating so this time I'm like all right no matter what she says you understand that she's upset and these this is how things go when she get upset so instead of meeting it with the same aggression just be like you know what be accepting of it you know it's funny I think girls just to cut you off not to cut you off but to cut you off so girls be like if you like yeah I love you nah fuck that. <laughs> You want to keep going? See I ain't gonna lie. When he came back and said it, no, because first of all, he started the argument. Because if we want to talk about signs being true, you was a two-headed motherfucker. Okay, one minute you sweet, the next minute you sour. A real sour patch kid. Jay is a prime definition of a fucking sour patch kid. He actually started it. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't started, but I'm listening. Anyway, so my thing is, he done started. Now he done riled me up because I was actually cool. And you know what I'm saying? I was on my way to pack to leave. I was, you know what I'm saying? He was starting it. And then as soon as I turned up, it was like, I love you, babe. Now, fuck that. I love you because you did all that just to come back. And so you could have said that at the start of the conversation. We wouldn't even be here. How did I start it up? Let me know. I don't even know. Let's by see. by, by breaking the, with the by show. Telling how I, that, why, by why telling? I can't continue the show? You always get to continue the show. I'll right, go ahead. Continue the show. Now on to the podcast. What you be like? Mm -hmm. He be like, so now let's get to potting, y'all. So let's get to your point. Matter of fact, you go first, then. Um, 
how can I be there for you while I'm going through something and you going through something? Say, so boom. So long story short, Jay brought up this situation. So I think what I came to the conclusion is that week I was very tired. As we know, it's been Gemini season for a long time at this point. You know, I've had two, I had two friends and a boyfriend Two close friends, best friends, and a boyfriend that are all Gemini's. So I'm like going back to back. So mind you, this started, I've been running for like two months straight at this point because it started in May. May was Mother's Day. Mother's Day left into Gemini season, which is my friend's birthday, then led into Jay, uh, to Jay's birthday, which led into my other friend's birthday now, which leads into Father's Day. I'm tired. I don't went from Houston to Arizona. I don't went from cookout to cookout, motherfucking Juneteenth. Like I am exhausted right so i'm just tired you know on top of that i'm still trying to catch up on work because i've been doing all these things so i'm like yo i gotta make sure i'm on top of work so i'm working i'm doing all these things so i'm i'm not frustrated i'm just exhausted right at this point and i'm just like you know jay's also you know he wasn't frustrated but i think he was dealing with his own things that way he was work, work you know working on work and just doing his own thing so i think we both were just at a level of just maybe just in our own thought process or like in our own time frame of just dealing with whatever we're going through within ourselves, like, you know, from work or tired or whatever. And um, <clears throat> what I realized is I think Jay, you know, probably needed me to be there for him at that time, but I just was so tired. I couldn't be there for him at that time. Right. I also felt like, damn, I'm tired. I kind of need you here for me at this time. But he also was dealing with his own thing, working stuff. He didn't have the momentum probably to deal with me at that time. And I realized when we did get into the argument, I kind of determined, I was like, I just think we can't communicate right now because we're both just already in our own space of things. And I realized that I think that happens more times than none. I think sometimes we're really just going through things separately. And it's like, how do you be there for the other person when you're going through like you could say it's easy like oh i'm gonna be there but when you really <clears throat> checked into your own self right now and it's just like i'm tired i need this i need that i need this i don't know how to always give you what you need because i'm still trying to fill my own cup and trying to you know nurture whatever i have going on so now you you know what i'm saying now it's like i could see you sighing and puffing around the house but i really probably don't want to deal with it because i'm trying to keep myself afloat like and without you know trying to not i'm puffing my damn self so it's like to stop and always have to be like well what's wrong with you when sometimes you may want somebody to be like well what's wrong with you like you know or what how can i help you to have to turn it can be overwhelming sometimes and sometimes i ain't gonna lie sometimes I'm like not right now i can't deal with you and you know <clears throat> not to say that's a pro and a con to doing that but sometimes i do like check out like i do it with my friends I just do it in my relationships. I do it with my own mother. Like, sometimes I'm like, I can't deal with you right now. Like, it's not about you. Like, sometimes I have to, like, no, I like I don't want to deal with that right now. It's not about that. It's not about you. It's not about, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, <clears throat> I've been trying to find practices of how to basically be there for the other person while simultaneously being there for yourself without feeling like you're not getting what you need or, you, or who has to do it first so that we both get what we need. Etc. What you think about it? What's a practice? <clears throat> I said I've been trying to find practices. Like so what? right now, um, like I said, like right now when I'm just, you know, I prayed about it because <clears throat> I was really irritated about it. Um, and I think like one thing I think I got a little clarity on is like, you know, sometimes like not sometimes more times than none. It's just a selfless act. Like, you know what I mean? It's just one of those things like, you know, even though you can't make it about you maybe you can make it about somebody else right now, right? <clears throat> and it's a harder thing to do because, again, sometimes, sometimes it's just really like, I don't, like, I don't want to. Like, I, like you don't want to be selfless all the time. Like, you don't always want to be, like, the person to be like, all right, let me just, like, what's wrong with you? Like, you know what I'm saying? Even though I want it that way. So I'm just learning that it's more of a selfless act. So you have to practice being more selfless in the times that you want to be selfish, even though you have a right to be selfish sometimes. But I think just truly given people have to learn that if you're selfless, you're selfless. You can't always tread on a line. Like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just gonna have to sacrifice your selfish time to be selfless. Okay. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, so for me, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> and it kind of goes into another question. Oh man. Um, Dang, we just reordered this whole podcast with this. So reflecting on last week, right? <clears throat> and if you can take this moment to be uh, transparent and understanding for a second, right? Uh, I feel like a lot of t a lot of the times when we're trying to be there, air quotes, for our significant other or somebody else, it backfires because we have the expectation of them. I guess understanding or we want them to react in a way that we want them to react in so for example i think um even last week like yeah i was 
like I was going, I wasn't really going through things, but I was irritated. But I wasn't saying it because again, I was just trying to be the bigger person. Like I didn't want to like get upset about something that I know wasn't that serious, if that makes sense. But then again, like the last day, I'll try to like um, communicate it out and it just didn't work the way I wanted to work. So now it's like, I feel like I felt unappreciated because like, yo, this whole time I wasn't saying anything, whatever the case may be, whatever the case may be. How do you, do you think <clears throat> we should just go with our first instant or like, do you, like if you feel away, should you just say something? Because like not saying something, it could be the yeah. good, good thing. Right, because like, for me, I was like, he was like, he thought he was being a bigger person by not saying anything. Me, I'm like, you need to say something because I won't know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And because I was worried about myself at the moment and whatever, just being tired and dealing with what I was dealing with by you not saying something I was like I'm not about to baby the situation and, and keep asking you you know what I'm saying because I also felt like I asked you yeah and you then it makes you like, distant and, and then that can be right a bad, I think right too. so like not to say it's a wrong or right to either side it's just that I think it has to be a common ground like what is our rule of thumb like are we if we're feeling away are we are we saying something right away or are we saying like yo sometimes I'm not going to say things right away so just give me a moment, like bear with me. But I do think it needs to be a clear Ag line of understanding which one route we're gonna go. Acknowledge, yeah, right? Because yeah. if it's not acknowledged up front, we don't know which way it's supposed to go. So if you get distance and you don't, you choose not to say something. I'm like, why does nigga not just say nothing? Mm -hmm. Or by the time you say, I'm like, why you ain't been saying nothing? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I think it has to be established, like acknowledge. So we'll be acknowledging, hey. Uh, <clears throat> what we talking about last week? How we moving forward? Oh yeah, we can definitely. We definitely can um, acknowledge it. <laughs> mm. I'll try no, my okay. best to acknowledge it. Again, I just think yeah, it's- But you it's, don't have to. It's just like finding that common ground because if you're more comfortable with like, yo, sometimes I just need a moment and I'm not going to say it right away and I might look distant. I, it might look distant to you, but I might just can't say it right then and there. I just think that's something that should be said. So like, if that's what it is, so now I know like maybe he's going through something he might need to, you know, he might want to say, but I know that he told me like he might need a second. Like you know, so, to you know, to process it, to get it together, to let it out. See, the only thing about it is, it sounds good. It's just I'm not saying we can't do that. It's just like me understanding us as humans mm -hmm. and just human nature, right? Mm -hmm. Once you acknowledge it, now it kind of makes the other. It's, it's kind of like somebody saying, "We need to talk." Now you're thinking about it all the time. <laughs> so like, all right, now it's like, yo, I just need a moment. Um, I don't want to talk about it right now, or I'm trying to control something. Da da da. Now you're or we or as humans, we like, yo, what is it? I want to know. I want to know. <clears throat> so I guess it will have to be like a two way street. Yeah. So I I guess like it's one of those things. Like I think it still should be some type of um, acknowledgement. Only because we're not gonna always be perfect every time at it. But it's something we could practice. Mm -hmm. Because like even like you know you saying that it's like you know but human nature is gonna say like sometimes it's just not gonna work like that. We know that. Like you know what I'm saying we can't call every instance every circumstance is gonna be different. But if it's a sign of something that we can practice, it can get better and it can be acknowledged more. You know what I'm saying? So okay, like maybe this time it annoys me that you're doing that, but it's like, you know, I mean, we did acknowledge the fact that sometimes you might need that. So now I know this is gonna have to be a practice. Like right. this is this is now a practice of moving forward. Like so this time next time I might get annoyed about it. Like, yo, you always, you know what I'm saying? But that's just the one like like I say all the time, like you can go twelve times right on your thirteenth, you're gonna <laughs> fall. And then you're gonna go twenty steps forward on your twenty second, you might fall, but then you might get to fifty. But you're gonna get better every time and make further strides down that line. I like that. I think Alex has something to say too. No, I mean <clears throat> I was just adding on to kind of like what you were saying in the settlement of like acknowledging um, because I remember watching it, they used an analogy of like when you shake up a sprite, or like a soda bottle or something, like and you're to, to tie into the relevance of you being frustrated, and you open it up, mm -hmm. and he's just like burst out. So even if your intentions wasn't or your tone wasn't intended to be angry or something mm -hmm. like that, sometimes when you speak at that moment, it's not presented the way that if you had like a moment to sit and think yeah. on it. So I, I think but that's, that's the, see that's the thing because like I've I sat on it for like a week. And it's but, still, oh, but right. I, I see. I didn't think. I, right, I thought but now mm. a week now. Now you're reaching it. Like I mean, it's like, it was from when you when when did you first tell me you was going? To, when did you, when did you first tell me that you were going to Arizona by yourself? I, I never even knew what I was doing overall. So, so no, you talk. You I didn't even buy my ticket to the day before I left. All right, so let's not do that because you told me this is no, why I, I was told, upset. No, you was okay. like, <clears throat> so. The deal was, Jay, <clears throat> so when it was my friend's birthday, right, when I realized I was going to Arizona way before I even left, right, I was like, yo, I'm going to pull up on Kayla. I was like, you can come because, yeah, come. Like, you know what I'm saying? 
as the weeks get closer, I didn't celebrate Jay's birthday. I'm running around at this point. It's Amaya's graduation. Like, it was a lot of things that were filled. And I actually wasn't even following up with her friend that we were planning a situation with. So I wasn't following up. Ask her. Even when no, I was down there, she was like, bro, you take like 48 hours to even respond back. Like, I really was like all over the place, right? <clears throat> that week came. Her friend started texting me like, yo, like, you know, can you help me with the decorations? So I'm like, send her decorations. But I'm still forgetting about my ticket. Like, I'm not even paying attention to the fact of what, you know, like what is really transpiring? Cause I'm trying to get through everything at home, right? Mm -hmm. So like two days before, I'm like, bro, I gotta get my ticket. Like, you know what I'm saying? I get down there, but I'm telling Jay, like, but I'm telling him like the details, like, uh, like I'm, you know, we're trying to do the decorations. Cause I still don't have a solid idea of what we're doing yet. By the time her friend told me the solid idea, it's like the day before, like, okay, we're doing this, we're doing that, whatever. I picked out the decorations, but I still don't even know what the itinerary is. I don't know what it is. And I find out it's really just going to be girls. Like it's going to be four girls. Her boyfriend's going to be in and out, but he's not really going to be there. It's just going to be us. So I'm like, uh, I don't know. I know Jay, like, you know what I'm saying? If he's not having a good time, it's going to show like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want him to feel like he's stuck with the girls. So I'm like, I don't know. So I expressed that, but I still was not sure. I like, I had no idea. I'm like, yo, this is what it is. You know, she's saying this, but I don't, I really don't even know what's good yet. You know what I'm saying? By the day before I finally get the itinerary now, I'm like, yo, like I'm a go. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still, the door's still open if you want to go, but I'm a go. But this is the situation. You know what I'm saying? But I guess because I just wasn't, I guess Jay felt like I didn't want him to go, but it wasn't that I didn't want him to go. I was just not even paying it enough attention to even care what nah it's just i i don't want to like it's just in my head it didn't go down like that that's it but so, it did listen i didn't i'm not go saying ahead, you're wrong. i'm so, saying question because last <laughs> week you said that y'all had prior like before 28 y'all said y'all had a great conversation y'all talked through it mm -hmm. on the last yeah. episode what do you feel like made that conversation great and that so situation. we was able to just get through it so we was, we was able to talk and i'm gonna tell you what it didn't do this one because jay didn't tell me he was upset about that right he never told me so to me if you held it for a whole week i was like all you had to do is like babe i'm not going with you like you know what i'm saying or like babe i'm gonna come or i'm not coming like are you going by yourself he literally wasn't saying anything so meanwhile i'm actually looking seeking counsel i'm like yo she's telling me this i don't know what to do like i'm like yo i gotta do this i'm thinking he's about to chime in but he didn't but i'm just still Focused on what's going on here. Because remember, the day before I left, I still, we went to the beach to take Amaya for her graduation. So I'm still <clears throat> flustered at that point. But to me, you just didn't say anything. Right. So that's why I just, I'm I'm listening because this transpired for me. It's transpired because we talked about the, the soda bottle, the, um, the Sprite, right? So that was the analogy. And what I was saying mm -hmm. was, no, I didn't just let it out. I held on to it for a week. You said it wasn't a week because you said that you didn't even know you found out uh, a day before or something like that. You ain't like the whole like what the plans were, right? Right. So that's what I'm saying. For me, to not disagree with you, for me, I found out before you told me. Like, and it's found my, out what before I told you that I wasn't going. So How like, did you find out? Because you told me. So what did I, what did I say to you? Yesterday? I'm telling you, I'm speaking. So like, on my, through my side of it, it was uh, she told me like, and again, it, it might be because you were flustered and you were like running around, and that's okay. I just want us to be able to understand both sides. Like I can, I break down your side. I understand you were flustered. You might have like overthought about it, and that's fine. However, we gotta look at how it can affect somebody else. So like when you found out, you was like, "Yo, I think it's just an all girls thing." I'm like, mm -hmm. so I was really like, "All right," you know what I'm saying? Like, but that ain't really how I felt. Like that ain't just being honest, being transparent. I, I really didn't feel like all right. So because at first, my understanding is I'm going to Arizona, and then when you tell me like it's an all girls thing, I'm like, what? Because even matter of fact, this is how I know because mm -hmm. I bought my ticket. I didn't buy my ticket for eight, um for uh I didn't buy our tickets for where we going. I didn't do that uh a day before. I bought that like a week, yeah. couple weeks, and I did that because I'm like, all right, you told me, but I'm like, I'm gonna do this just in case. I can, cause you're like, I'm gonna ask her her best friend. Not your ticket for Arizona. You bought our tickets for Houston, right? <laughs> no, I'm just being clear, right? Yeah, but okay. it's like Why I'm trying. So I didn't. I was trying. I'm not upset, but I didn't like, say Houston for a reason. But oh, it's fine. Why? It's oh, okay. I didn't, okay. It's bad. okay. So look, I didn't. Um. <clears throat> so when you told me, I went ahead and bought the tickets for Houston because I'm like, all right, it might still be a chance that I can go. This wasn't like a day before. This was like maybe a week before. Like this is a week. So I already I already knew that it was a chance that I didn't go. So when you was like, yo, I did talk to her. Matter of fact, you never told me that you talked to her until a day. I think it was like a day before. Then no, I'm like, I was telling you about when she was hitting me about the balloon, the decorations. I told you that day, a couple days before, not the day before. I told you that like three, four days before. Cause I was like, yo, she hit me trying to ask me to decorate. She said, cause she's not good at the decorating. Can I do it? I told you that like three, four days before when she, when we were doing that. Right. <clears throat> so um, yeah, but yeah. So anyway, my, my whole thing is uh, 
I was upset and I didn't bring it to her because I thought I was trying to like leave it alone. Like that was my intention was to like. But he was getting distant. Like he wasn't really. He was really. He he could say he was leaving alone. It wasn't just leaving alone. I'm like you good? Like you want to? Talk? No, I'm good. Like I don't want to. Talk. You good? Like you all right? No. Nah. So I'm thinking it's working some more shit. Yeah, and uh, right. That's understandable. Well, what I'm trying to convey or trying to get or asking for is just like I say. That's understandable. I can. I was probably getting distant. That probably wasn't the best thing to do. I would. I would like for you to understand and recognize that. Okay, I can see right. that you were trying to do your best and not making it a big deal or trying not trying to blow it up. That's I it. I can see that you were trying not make it a big deal and blow Right. Yeah. So my question was, can you fix the light? I don't know why that shit. You got a, uh, got a shortage in it? Yeah. So my thing was, um, my question was, is that, because you, you, you said, said the Sprite soda, but that's what I did. I, I didn't get upset and let it just blow up. I waited and it's still kind of like, I don't want to say backfire but it still didn't i didn't get the um response that i wanted to so i'm like in that moment do you just go ahead and just speak your mind and acknowledge it like we said but like alex you asked what made our conversation when we said we communicated very well mm -hmm. about this situation we also talked about it right then and there yeah right we talked about it right then and there like it happened right then and there we talked about it right then and there um to me <clears throat> if you ask me just my opinion i feel like that worked because we acknowledged the feelings right then and there before they got time to fester in our head and rethought about it and overthink it and add on additional feelings and the last time or you know I you know I know he went like it, it we talked about it right then and there. All right, so maybe we <clears> just try <throat> try to uh, approach things when they come. <clears throat> I think we could do that. You like it? It's you fine with me, baby. I understand why you know what I'm saying you might have not said it then and there and how it could have looked like I didn't want you to go, but that was not the case, okay? We, we fine, he don't want He don't want to admit that he, you know what I'm saying, he felt like I was leaving him out. Wait, I okay. said that. Like, that was the whole point well, of me well, saying, like, that's that exactly what I said. Out, but, but I understand. Really what, but you know I understand what? That all and just to be honest, it, it might have been a good thing. All, 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 all I'm saying it is, wasn't that all, type of all, truth all, at all. All, I'm, all I'm saying is, at the time, yeah. like I didn't get like the day before she broke it down, and I understood. Like I don't know if it was the day before or the day of. She was like, "Yo, because this, this, and this, and that." When she first told me, again, she might have just been rushing, busy with well, a lot I didn't of things. Know all the details, and that's fine. I'm, I never said you. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. right. Also, alternate, alternate and that, clarity. And that's like, fair. Yeah, that's you fair. know, I might have just didn't know all the details. That's all fair. Right. So all that to say, I think there has to be some type of acknowledgement on going forward how to handle those situations. Situations so that you know you don't get to a point where you know you're frustrated I'm already frustrated so I ain't even trying to really acknowledge what you got going on because it's like you know selfish time is for me right now I need to figure out my own you know what I'm saying and I will say like that's also what helped me like I didn't really at that moment it's not that I didn't care what Jay was feeling it just was like I was already flustered by so much I didn't have a moment to really just like okay you know what I'm saying like, you know what I'm saying? To even care that much. Because I was in a selfish point at that thing. I was like, I'm tired. I don't have time. You know what I'm saying? He got attitude. I don't know what it's about. Like, you know what I'm saying? So just going forward for clarity purposes, just acknowledging, you know, how we can communicate that out going forward. In the moment. So when it happens, just say something. Yeah. Like if, 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 you know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know, though. I think it's a thin line, though, to certain things. Because I feel like, no, no, no. I'm going to say that, too. Because no, no, no. No. <laughs> fix your face. Cause I... I no, because, like, there's a time and a place for everything. So we're not about to be at a cookout and you something flustered you and, and, like, everybody there. And you like, let me talk to you right now real quick. Because then it's going to fuck up the whole cookout. You know what I'm saying? Say 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 something was going on Juneteenth. You know what I'm saying? It's Black Power. We all in here. Family here. And he like, you know what? I really don't like when you do that. Like, now we arguing. You know what I'm saying? To side. Now we stepping back. We both got an attitude and it fucked up the whole vibe. I do think there's sometimes there's a time and place. Like, yeah, when we get in a car, different story. Or when we get home, different story. But sometimes... But you know. But address it that day. Don't wait. Yeah, I think addressing it around the time frame definitely matters. Fair. Makes sense. We're going to work on that. I'm going to work on that. That's something. I'm going to work on it too, babe, because I'm not always good at that. Look right, accountability. Right. Yeah, accountability, buddy. Look. See? Come on, cheers so, me. <clears throat> moving yeah. on. Um, so I wanted to talk about this. This is not what I wanted to talk about. And I, found, I remembered what I wanted to talk about. I'm, all, I'm, 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 I'm always though, this. But it's the same thing. So. We're talking about housekeeping while your partner is on vacation. Yeah. What's the housekeeping rules? Because what's the housekeeping rules? Like, so first of all, first and foremost, is it okay to leave the house messy before you go on? Absolutely fucking not. It's not okay? No. Mm. Why? You trying to say I left it messy before I left? I did not say that. I was just, I was just asking. 
I mean, it was some things that could have been taken care of. What, like the laundry that I did that nobody else could have folded and put away? Mm. You ain't you ain't asked for that either. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't ask for additional hands. <laughs> Why you guys? No, see forget me do about the, that. Is it okay? Why like, you guys see me do the laundry? Because I had to do the laundry, fold it up, and put it away. So is it? So 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 it's not okay to leave it. So what I think is like, so me personally, I really. But sometimes we be rushing. No, no. no sometimes we be rushing, and like you know. For me as a person, I've always been like this. Even when I was like younger, traveling, I hated coming home to a dirty house. So I always had to clean before I left because coming back, you know, you got your suitcase, you jet lag. I ain't trying to walk into no mess. So like typically, yes, that week we were just on. The, we've been on a run for weeks. You know what I'm saying? Like in our house, never really dirty, but you know what I'm saying? Like messy, of course. Like things going on in the house. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like I was doing some housekeeping. You know what I'm saying? But that was, you know, you know, you might have been a little busy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, look, I'm going to do this. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to leave. So if you if if you came back and I'm it was... i to leave him some clean clothes. You know what I'm but saying? But if, if you came back, right? If you came back and yeah. it was the same way... Oh, I'm what, pissed off. I'm why? pissed off. You because you left it like that. Because y'all were here the whole time. But you also left it like that. No, I left half of it like that because I did the laundry and y'all could have put them away so before you, I got home. So do you think before going on vacation, you should make sure the crib is how you want it to be when you come back? I feel like if I have, if it's three motherfuckers in this house and I do one thing, then y'all motherfuckers could go do one and two and three. Okay? While well, I'm gone. Okay, curious. I was just you know curious. what I'm saying? What, what, what was you saying? Thank you, Monique. Because What's you know, is our, you know, men clean different than women clean because that ain't my clean. <laughs> What you mean? What you talking about? Is it gonna is it gonna look like that? Like, are you gonna clean it? Like, like is she cleaning? Is it gonna really look like that when I get back? No, no. I mean, not I me. Mean, no, I, Jay. So Jay goes. I, I like. I come back. You know, things is a little put away. You know what I'm saying? It still needed some maintenance, so I clean it. He was like, I cleaned the house before you came. I said, No, no, no. no. Did it look like this? Okay? I definitely cleaned the house before you came. You put some things away. Wow, niggas don't ever appreciate shit. So my real question was, uh, this is what I want to talk to you on the phone. Talk about on the phone, going on trips out of spite. Do you feel like you got it? Cause like I ain't gonna lie, part of me was like, Jamie yo, try to spite me all the time. No, she be twisting my words. I can't never just be open dialogue with Shadi. She gonna put that stinger in you. Anyway, um, so like he is. That's why he going to Atlanta now, cause they and then his friend said it for him. So he was like, yeah, cause you did Arizona, then you did Houston. Yeah, Jay's going yeah, to Atlanta. Absolutely, like this little petty pussy trip. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I felt like I had to go on a trip by myself, cause I feel like I don't know. Like if it was me, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. Right, I'm going to Miami that in the same week. I mean, have fun. You catch the coronavirus and all that. Y'all go to Atlanta. It's high there too. <laughs> Fucking you talking it's like, about? No, it's, bo- it's bad. All right, right. It's, it's bad. bad in Atlanta. It's, it's bad. It's bad. Fuck you talking about? Both, both please, it's bad. Yeah, no, he, was, I, he was like, yeah, I'm going to Atlanta, but just a guy trip with my bros. I said that's. But fine. I feel like I had birthday to do that too. though because I feel like going to Miami for Corey's birthday. So eh. I feel like I almost had to do that though because you it's didn't like, though. I feel like Jay only even does it like if, if I leave the house to go out with my friends, then he got to leave the house. You don't know how many times I've sat in this bitch when Jay go out. That's by choice. All right, but if it's I, like, I don't need to go out just because you're going out, though. If I want to go out, it's really because I want to go out. It's not because I feel like, oh, he's going out, he's hanging with his friend, now I need to hang with my friends. I feel like one time it slapped Jay in the face, too, before, too. One time, I'm about to go go on a little picnic with my girl. Jay, like, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and bros. I'm like, yo, you want to ride with me out there? I could just drop you off. <laughs> we get out here. His friend don't even answer. Now he mad. He was like, I could have just stayed in the house. Yes, you could have. Anyway. You could have. I feel like, I feel like when, when, when your partner do things... You gotta get some type of. You gotta get even some. What, what the fuck? You got to. Now we in the. Cause it's like, yo, think about this thing, buddy. Yo, you go on all these trips. But I do this. I'm in the crib chilling. Nah, fuck that. I gotta get. I gotta have a boys trip too. I gotta have a homie trip. Like, fuck it. Like, why not? Because if you gonna do it, I need to do it. Because if I don't, but because that's the only time I can do it. Because if you don't do it, right, and then I want to have a, a, a friend trip, but it's gonna be a to problem. Mar- you went to LA with Marcus last year. I didn't trip. I was home. Oh, 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 oh. Now we forgot. No, you forgot. You went to LA and then another place with Marcus then booked another trip to go with him for whatever music festival that got canceled due to COVID. But you was going dolo. I ain't so it's just because I'm doing it. See, when niggas do it, it's okay. But I'm asking, when niggas so- do it, it's okay. Jay was on trip. Oh, I got to go to LA with Marcus. Oh, me and Marcus about to go to whatever music festival. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, we just bought our tickets. So oh, I'm asking wow. You, but, okay, cool. But I'm asking you. Now I'm doing it. Now I got to leave. Let me was like, you know what? You're leaving with LA. I'm going to fucking Atlanta with Corey right now. He like, oh, now you going to Atlanta because I Oh, you going because I'm leaving. Like, oh, now because you got to go. But I feel like as a nigga, I'm nah, I got, yeah, now yeah, you gotta, that's yeah. some petty ass shit. I don't bro. care. I think I, that's what that's it. some petty. You ass go on a shit. trip. I gotta go on a trip. 
Fuck that's it. Some, but What's this Jay's a, favorite topic? Double standards. Double standards. <laughs> like, this shit Fairness, is so you know what I'm saying? If you go on a trip, I gotta but, go on a trip. But my thing is, I don't think that's fair. Because, like... How wasn't it, it fair? That's like, perfectly example, fair. Traveling is something... That's, like, my go-to. Like, so, like, you know how everybody got their thing? Like, what they like to do? Like... I like the only escape I feel like I get is if I have to travel. Like you know, like I really am one of you know how people get hangry. So when I'm gonna learn how to ex- escape. When when <laughs> I'm gonna learn how to I'm gonna learn how to fill that void. You know how people get hung- angry when they're hungry. When I don't travel for a while, I get irritated. So because guess that's what? like I don't like being here. Like I'm not from here already. Like I don't. I'm not from, like so. I be wanting to go. Like that's always been me though. Before what does Jay, it do for you? single me. What, what it doesn't it, what, matter. What does it do for you? I just like to be on beaches. I like water. I like palm trees. what does that do trees. for your soul? It's a refresh. So maybe I want to learn how to refresh. It's, because clearly is, it works for you. So is, let then me why learn not how to plan refresh. Us a trip? No, because you didn't just plan us a trip. So but I'm Jay, a- I did plan. I planned. Our first trip, I planned. What's the trip you planned for us? Okay. Good. So my thing, it's not like I try to leave him out. Jay know I like to travel, but Jay likes to work more than he traveled. That's something he's told me. Like, I don't even put your fucking pinky down. <laughs> Honestly, because it's I'm enjoying my beverage. Like, what do you mean? My beverage. <laughs> Let me pour it my glass because I don't even got. You might want to tilt that. I got tilt. The I glass, drink babe. this shit from the bottle at this point. Eh. So, my thing is, Jay only doing it because of me. Like, see, I like I like to travel, but I've also like, babe, let's go. He's like, bro, I gotta work. Like he said, like I rather work than go on a trip. Like he said that, said this to me verbatim. I'm like, babe, you gotta have fun sometime. No, I don't want to have fun. I just want to work. <laughs> like, what the fuck? That's all he wants to do. And like, so I'm like, now you feel like, oh, now I want to go on trips. It's like, well, nigga, take me on a fucking trip. I want to get flued out too. You could have took me on a trip, but you had you had two opportunities and you ain't decided. So I bet. First of all, these first of all, that's not what happened. First of all, I didn't even leave for a girls' trip. Two of my close friends moved all the way across the nation. We wasn't going for no party. He going with his bros. They getting big Airbnbs and da 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 da. So my question. Whatever. So I went question. to the you first know, time I went to Houston, I stayed with my friend. Well, I went to my friend's house. It was just us. This time I went to Arizona. We did have an Airbnb, but it was only all my my friends' closest friends. It was like four of us. It wasn't a whole bunch. Now you like I'm taking a boys trip. All me and the bros. We going to Atlanta. And all I'm asking is, do you feel like sometimes? Do you I got, think you're petty? Yes. That's not my question. Do oh. you feel like you gotta go? Do you feel like you got to do things sometimes because I do it? No. So we just not going to be honest. Okay. I'm cool. not honest. I'm, I'm not honest. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, Clearly. God. Okay. So I don't think I do things because you do it. But okay. So I ain't going to lie. So what? So I, now we're going to be honest. All right. Here we go. <laughs> so, okay. So one time. So no, I don't, I don't think I'm so. so when Jay used to work in a club and he used to get a lot of female attention. Wait, what? You no, better this, not this say is no the, shit. No, this is the only time. Like, no, seriously. Like, when it comes to trip, no. Like, I'm good. Like, I first of all, I'm a cool bitch. I do cool shit all the time. So I don't have to be at the trip. I go on picnics in Georgetown. Jay knows how I am. I like to go hiking. I love water. I'm out, I'm an outside girl. That's what I love to do. So it's not that I'm traveling. I'm always doing a little cool shit. I love to tell Jay, let's go do this. Let's do that. So don't do that. I always just like to do things in general, right? So, but one time, the only time I felt like it was like, not a tip for tab, but it's just like, so Jay used to be, he's before COVID, he was always working, you know, he hosts in a club and I feel like he was always out here and he be with all the females and he always got these bitches on his snap and whatever, whatever. So yeah, I'm like, well, we going to another club. Like me and my friends, well, we going to Rose Bar by ourselves then. Like, go hang with your nigga. You want to get bitches' attention? We gonna go get cute, and we going to another club and niggas and get niggas look at attention. Us. So we wasn't looking at, you know. Sometimes you gotta know you still got it. Not for the attention. It's just that we went to a separate club that wasn't his club where I can't, you know what I'm saying? Be cute and without, you know what I'm saying? He could go do his thing, be cute in these bitches' faces and do all that. So I was like, okay, we going to Rose Bar. Sometimes you gotta know you still got it. So if I go out here and fuck another bitch and be no, like, no, I didn't I just say had like to, that. I, just had to know I, I still didn't had say it. like that. I'm talking about the same little flirt. Friendly ways you be in these bitches' faces in the club because you working. Hold on, let me do that again. Because you working. So start hosting. No, I'm just gonna get cute with my friends and we're gonna go do our own thing and niggas gonna look. So to answer the question, sometimes you do feel like you want to. No, I felt. I felt. The correct term is I felt. So I did that one time before. That was it. That was the time. But when it comes to like what you do, like on a regular, like if you traveling with a no, I don't give a fuck. I bet. Cool. Period. Moving on. I we do can, what I do. We skip this, you said? 
Yeah, go, I didn't even really go to the bottom. Yeah, go to the bottom. Because... Let's get to the shits. Let's go straight to the shits. Oh, Kanye or Drake? Oh, hold on, no, we got who did this? All right, all right, no, stay right here. Okay, Kanye or Drake? It's Drake all day. The fuck is Drake? And go ahead and say if it was no Kanye, it would be no Drake. Man, that's your opinion. Wait. No, I said is that is, is, is that what was it? No, I just would choose oh. Kanye West. Oh no, I'm picking Drake all day. Um, live without knees or live without elbows? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> who the fuck? Who the ah, fuck damn. put that? <laughs> live without knees I'm or live without li- your elbows? Live without see. elbows, cause I want to walk. This nigga said the most politically. That's not why he need knees. He said I want to walk. I want to walk. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, why else would I need knees? I would know. I would hope not for nothing else. Nah, cause he could lay down and do that. Um. So, um, I'm going to pick I'm gonna pick elbows, too. I live without elbows, yeah, because I low-key, I don't want to be in a wheelchair. Yeah, you need your knees for me. Uh, I can so, do that laying down, too. So, um, bitten by a vampire or bitten by a non-venomous snake? Ooh. A non-venomous snake? Ooh, do a non-venomous snake, because I used to want to be a vampire robot. Um, but a non-venomous snake or a venomous snake? No, nah, he said non-venomous, so I'd rather be... Oh no! Oh, non venomous they, they ain't they, nothing gonna happen. No, both of them hurt though. Them, oh. Both of them bitches probably hurt bad. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm gonna still pick. I'd rather be bitten by a vampire. What? What? Ta- what in the uh, um, America's <laughs> Next Model type shit is this? I'm gonna, wait, wait. Achieve, Achieve world, world peace, peace <laughs> or end global hunger? What? Oh no. Achieve world peace, man. I, I'm going to do it uh, and global hunger because I feel like if it was no hunger, they'd be at peace. <laughs> okay. All right. If there was no, if it was no if they peace. If they wasn't hungry. If it was peace, it wouldn't be police brutality. Honey, if there's no b- police brutality, it's a lot of things that still happen outside of pro- police brutality. Right. And it wouldn't would be that be if it was peace. It wouldn't be no black on black Well, maybe crime. if it was peace, people wouldn't be hungry because people would share. Survive 10 more years, but unable to leave your house. Or live for only six. Survive ten more years. Hold on, go back. God, up. that's a lot. No, no, let's go because I like it. Survive ten more years, but unable to leave your house. Only live for six. Oh, I'm living for six. Six months more oh. and be free to go wherever you want. Or only live for six. Oh wow. Oh yeah, I got survive ten more years because I need the other <laughs> twenty to do what I need to do. Yeah. Um, okay. Frappuccino or ice cream? Frap me, please. Jay don't even like frappuccinos. Neither. Neither? There's that's not an option. Okay, so know when you will die or know how you will die. Ooh. Um shit. Know when you will die or know how you will die. I probably pick when. I'm gonna pick how. No, I don't want to be because if it's some wild psychotic, I'm gonna be. I ain't gonna lie. If I'm gonna be tortured to death, motherfucker. I don't want to know. So okay, I'm having nightmares for the. I can't live in peace. I'm fucking stressed out because I know they're about to fucking torture me at a point in my life. Like no, um, yeah, yeah, just God, yeah. I'd rather know when. Speak multiple languages or play different musical instruments. Multiple languages. Multiple languages for sure. Fight fifty ducks or one ginormous, one ginormous duck, one ginormous. I need to focus where one is so I can stab them in the foot or like I don't know. I need to fight one. Fifty ducks, yo, ducks are vicious. Like them beaks is no fucking joke. Uh, flying car or amphibious? Uh, how the fuck do I say this? Amphibious mm-hmm. car. Amphibious what car. Is that? What is Basically, that? Basically, you go underwater, land, Ooh, like land. Oh, yeah. shit. oh water me. What do I mean? Flying car for me. Sing in public or dance in public? Dance me. I can't sing for shit. Jay is singing. Both he is um, singing ass nigga. I'm going to sing while I'm dancing on some Chris Brown shit. Non-stop hiccups or non-stop... Oh, this is annoying. Non-stop hiccups or non-stop sneezing. They're both equally fucking irritating. Damn. So I'm going to pick non-stop sneezing. I'm going to say sneezing. Because hiccups Fuck are, <laughs> are annoying. Looks like Shrek or looks like the Hulk. That's the same person. They both green and ugly as fuck. But I'm going to say, because if it was my man, Hulk me. Mm, Hulk smash hit ass. Uh, <laughs> have children with no money or have no children but with loads of cash? Aww. Loads of cash. No, I'm going to have children because my children going to make the money. Yeah. <laughs> 
Lose your hair first or lose your teeth first? Oh, ball, ball me. Ball. Yeah, I need my teeth, okay? A size bigger or a size smaller? Ooh. Size smaller me. Telekinetic powers? Me? What would you want? You want me a, a size smaller? Oh, it wasn't like my body? Oh, oh. That's oh. What we you, baby, I might need a small, smaller, because if you go one step bigger, honey, we uh -oh. can't do this. That was cute, thank we you, We can't baby. do this. Way to have my back. <laughs> Telekinetic powers? <laughs> Why something go wrong? Yeah, because I lied, because you need to- Yeah, nigga, I told you, say. Telekinetic powers or tel teleportation powers? Oh, telekinetic. I want to teleport. I'm going everywhere. All type of countries. I need to know what the fuck is going on. That, bruh. I'm going I'm all type of mine. Because I need to know. What I seen that thinking. movie. What was it? Jump or something? Mm -hmm. Where he was just. I'm robbing banks. Like yeah. on bank, yes. on bank, yes. on bank. Um. Boom. So I guess well, did you yeah, want? Because I had to do this. Know. Yeah, yeah. We can go. Let's go to the uh, shits. Let's get to the shits. All right. Um. Damn. What What do we have? What are we talking about? Um. Boom. 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 Okay. Uh. J Cole and No Name. What the fuck? So, okay. So I seen something that Bum B said that I really thought was dope. What did he say? He just was like, bro, they're both, we don't like, they're both good people. We don't have time to play them against each other because both of their voices are so vital mm -hmm. to the community. But, and I agree with that heavily. Yes, you're absolutely right. I agree with that heavily. But, who side you on? You ain't even listen to the song. We can't. Okay, even talk okay. About so give me the, just give me. We a can't rough even have this conversation. Yes, we can. Just give me a rough ride of the song. Like I can have a conversation <clears throat> about anything. I feel like he said the same thing that I be saying to you that you fight me all the time. About what? It's not what you say. It's how you say it. Okay. So what did he say? That's what he said. The, I know, but like, but like in terms of what though? Can we? What What did he say? So essentially, uh, no name. Who's a rapper as well? Tweeted out that it's interesting that a lot of black rappers that talk about black plight have been quiet during the unrest in the nation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he saw it and I guess he felt like it was directed towards him. So he dropped the songs, don't want to bluff. And people looked at the lyrics and I guess she goes by queen tone or something, yeah. but like that drop, that name drop, everybody knew it was her. So to be honest, I blame Twitter more so than anything yeah, Twitter wild, because yeah. Twitter will create a situation yeah, that's not even there. Like we nothing. saw that with Marlon Wayans and yeah. we talked about that last week. But yeah. essentially in the song, he was saying, so you right, but come correct. Like, right. So this is how I feel. So what I will say, uh, I'm not going to pick a side, but what I will say is um, something that I try to practice. And I was talking to um, a friend about this before. Like, I feel like we don't always have to say what people are not doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for somebody to say, like, people always do it's like, so what? Like, because let's acknowledge the people who are doing. Let's not, why do we always have to talk about, like, what somebody's not doing? Like, you know, even, like, my friend, like, we were talking about, I was just like, you know, when people, like, like, they throw subs on, you know, Twitter, or they, they say, like, stop indulging in negativity. Like, to me, that's negative. Even if you don't mean it negatively, the fact that you're focusing on the negative or what you deem as negative or what you deem as lack or fall short, I think that, already is negative no matter which way you word it no matter which way i don't think people should spend so much time acknowledging what people don't do or acknowledging what's you know i think people should spend more time acknowledging the people who are doing who are going out their way and who god because when you do that you are and unintentionally attacking a group of people if you are focusing on just what is going on that's positive you don't have to do that so what i will say is i don't really agree when she did that because that's something i heavily practice like even when i'll be wanting to jump on something and be like like, you know, like, I'll see, like, little shop, like, yo, I always have to either delete it or catch myself, because I'd be like, yo, we're not even focusing on that, because when you put your focus there, it really enhances it, and it, like, literally ripples over, like, a, a domino effect, like, and now you have shit like this, and now he has to feel like he has to retaliate, like, if you didn't say nothing, you would, you don't know what he might have was doing next, or the fact that he's just already in the streets, he was protesting, like, he's not, it's not like he's not doing his part, and just because everybody's not saying who they're donating to, and doing all these things, it doesn't mean he's not, but it is annoying to even do that, now, to go to J. Cole's point, I don't, it's the same way, vice versa, I don't think he should have made a song towards her, even though, because I also feel like we also don't have time for black men and black women to be going up against each other. Like, it's stupid. But I think the song was just a very transparent song. I think he was basically, I think he was being fair. He was just saying, I you didn't know, hear the song, so let me, you know. So we can't really have this yes, conversation. Yes, we can, because I could get the gifs of the, the, per, the point. 
even so but we all i think everything is perception so how i even explain the song might not be how it was meant or how you might what you might take away from the song so So, i feel like um from my perspective it was like yo she had a point and i don't i didn't hear the no name song but um i don't think she was direct that to anybody he was just like yo hearing that made me challenge myself because it makes me look at like i'm not doing enough you know what i'm saying and but at the same time i can see myself not doing enough but like yo like yeah your approach is way wild. Like you ain't had to say it like that. Agreed. Um, Agreed so though. that's what I got from yeah, it. it was I just, agree with that though, wholeheartedly. But I feel like in those, I I was breaking it down like just the misunderstanding from men to women because I feel mm-hmm. like there've been times where like I've said that to you and it's like um, we can't really or I think I'll get like you can't really focus on how you said it, but the fact that what you said was valid, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So it's like I kind of get both, but I just ain't think it was that deep but from j cole i understand him him being an artist and him being just a creative like why he would create something like that because it's like yo let's address this like i I need to learn more yeah but at the same time y'all can do this i fucked with his sweet because i feel like you know at the end of the day he just he really shouted you out and he still was like look at the end of the day yo she reads way more than i do go check her out and to be honest just to be honest me be honest I didn't know it until he said it. Yeah, I never even knew I who didn't she even was. Know who she I, was. Yeah, I, yeah, so you know, and now I follow her though, and I do. I was like, oh, this is dope. She's, you know, what I'm saying, but I had no idea until I seen his tweets, and I was like, hold on, let me go check it out. So it's almost like, yeah, shout out to J Cole for putting uh, on. Shout out to something J. Cole else for putting that I on. wanted to add and uh, get your take on is something that he did say is to in the lyrics was like talk to you need to talk to certain people like their children. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, yeah, I fuck educate with that. me. Like instead of coming yeah, at me, like, educate right. me. Talk to me like I'm your child. And the child argument you want to tell was me. in regards to like men and women. I know that like you know therapists. Like a lot of sometimes when women are like I'm not your therapist. I'm not your teacher. Like go educate yourself. Go. Yeah. Um. And one argument I saw on the other side was like imagine if I'm a teacher and yeah, a t- your kid asks me a question and, and I say like, go Google that, or, or it or because like the response say, is like or when people call a question stupid. No question is stupid. It's like I should be able to ask in comfortability that you're gonna teach me. You're not gonna belittle me. You right. know what I mean? And I de- I definitely fuck with that part. I think I tweeted it like we need and not just man to woman, man, man to man too, woman to woman as well. Like we gotta treat people like that children. Not saying that we're above anybody, yeah. but have more patience. Right. You know and what I'm saying? And have more compassion. And that's how because we understand when a child does right. something, we understand that they children ain't mean no better. Let's let me just have some yeah. let me be compassionate with them. Let yeah. me be patient with them. And right. I feel like we got to do that more often as adults with right. each other. But I think the problem where people come to terms with that is, you know, people are so have so much superiority complex. Like they don't even are they're not open to learn from anybody. Mm. They think they're at a certain level where they can't be willing to learn. Um, but I still think like, you know, just to go into terms when Alex is, you know, touching on like women, like, you know, we shouldn't be your teachers. We certainly be a therapist. But the act in actuality, we are. We are. We're women. We are nurturers. We are teachers. This is what we do. Like, we also have to own that fact and stop, like, shunning away from it, like, as if every black man is out here to drain us. That's not true. It's as if we have to be teaching every black man. It's not true, but the ones we do have an opportunity to teach, we should. Like, um, when I went to Houston, um, Ashley's uh, neighbor is, like, a college kid. Like, he was, like, I think... 18 Mm -hmm. and he helped her bring some bags and whatever and we were just schooling him like he was so open to learn but he was a young nigga and the one thing that me and Ashley was like she was like yo I feel so good to be an older black woman and a a young black male is listening to us and soaking it all in he's like yo I really appreciate that like I I, no, I'm gonna take that and it's like sometimes we can't be looking at like at, at the end of the day every black kid is our child bro like or every black man is our, our our kin bro like you gotta look at him like your brother you gotta look at him like your cousin you said like you don't always have to be a, like a you niggas just be like mm-hmm. the, the, sometimes it just really has to be like yo young man like you know what i'm saying let me tell you as a lady or as a woman or as another mother i'm not your mother but you know what i mean something that you, you have to be open to teach no we're not every man's th- therapist or nurturer but what i will say just like i say as far as healing like you're not everybody's healer, but at the end of the day, you're a healer. You know what I'm saying? You, you, I might not be the healer for you. However, I'm a healer nonetheless. So if you're not coming loving and educationally, just shut up. Like I tell people to shut the fuck up. Like shut it doesn't have to be up. so, you know what I mean? So negative all the time. So I like, you know, even like the fact that like all of a sudden it's just like this black woman versus black man. Like it, it like switched from racial to like black man versus black woman. And it's so annoying. Which it, why? You can't say that's not cool. It's a little cool. <laughs> I never did it. But no. Let me do it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead.
fuck. Got all of my glasses and shit. Just fogged my whole glasses. <laughs> like, no, my shit was cooler because I had more smoke. But... What the fuck? Like, why can't you be? It was both cool. Like, like my shit was, was cooler. Cool. This Look, is our relationship. I put mad smoke in there. <laughs> just, just, fuck out of here. Jay hella competitive. I am. So, um, boom. But yeah, all that to say is, you know, shout out to both of them because, like I said, I did heavily agree with my B. Like, at the end of the day, both of their voices are vital in the community. Everything, you know, No Name is doing with just as far as our book club is also amazing. As we know, J. Cole is amazing, you know, just for all he has done in the community and in the industry itself for being who he is. So, to play them against each other, Twitter need to cut it the fuck out. Yo, Sorry. I keep telling people. People on Twitter and Instagram live in fucking rural areas where they have nothing and they're not doing anything. Where do you so live all at? they where, do, where do you live at? I don't know, fucking Iowa, Arkansas, <laughs> motherfucking Nevada, motherfucking the cheese state, Wisconsin. Whoever's, whoever's like Nevada's not, gonna cancel the Gemini not, Scorpio it's podcast. Not that, I'm not saying like that. I just feel like a lot of these people like really Wisconsin are, is done for the Gemini Scorpio like, look, podcast. At the end of the day, we live in one of the top ten cities, so I don't give a fuck. Like, look, like many, at the end of the day, how many niggas you, you met know, from Nevada? How many niggas you know from how Nevada? How many niggas you know from Nevada? You know, hella niggas from Connecticut, though. Uh, I mean, honestly, Connecticut was one of them places that I would have named before I met y'all. Yeah, but you know, mad of us. But you though. see, but you see how shit happens. But you see how much of us move up here. But that's my point, though. But my because point if I is, if I would have said Connecticut and then I start meeting these niggas and they're like, "Whoa, oh, that's how you think about us." I'm no, right. it's the thing is, I tell the truth. No, Connecticut ain't got shit going on. Somebody asked me where I was from when I was in Arizona. I was like, "I'm from Connecticut." It was like, "What's there? Nothing." <laughs> yes, man. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Where do you live now? DMV, Washington, D.C. area. <laughs> okay, it's nothing going on. Okay. So I'll um, be honest. I love my city to death. I love everybody I grew up with. You know, I heavily have a heart. I have a soft spot for Connecticut, but it ain't shit going on. It's like fair. Nevada, Wisconsin, and Iowa, and Minnesota, and motherfucking South Dakota, June Kentucky, team. motherfucking. I don't fucking know. How was Juneteenth for you? Juneteenth was good. I was sitting amongst a whole bunch of black people, and that's what I wanted. However, I want Juneteenth to be just like the fucking 4th of July. I want fireworks. I want big ass cookouts. I want us to figure out a color. What we wearing, black, green, and red? Like, what are we wearing? I want it the same way we've done 4th of July for years. You go in Target, it's how the 4th of July shit, just bathing suits for the babies. I want the same thing when it comes to Juneteenth now that it's a fucking national holiday. So I don't think we were prepared this year, but next year I want us to show up. I'm talking about buy up all the fireworks, just like 4th of July when we can't go find no fireworks. I'm going to be seeing niggas in the, in the street doing it, on the rooftops doing it. I want the whole fucking bridges blocked off how it be for 4th of July. I want to see black red yellow i want to see the colors in the air i want to see it i want to see it no you're right juneteenth was cool it wasn't like the fourth of july July no and i'm not celebrating fourth of july this year sorry i'm not and i'm calling you out if you do if i see you out here protesting you you just said that we shouldn't acknowledge we shouldn't but kim kardashian Oh man, she's uh, about to start a social justice podcast. She just got uh, was it po- what was it um, Spotify? She, how much money did she get for this? Too Don't much. She got enough no. money? It's not. It's not. It's not enough. But now, nah, anyway, I feel like it's dope though. She yeah, um, she's doing some privilege. good things to the for the um use culture. Your, use your privilege. So yeah, why not? You got black kids. You got a black husband. You better use your privilege. You know what I'm saying? She got more than enough money that has put her through school. She's officially a lawyer. All I'm saying is, go ahead, go ahead and stand up for us. Use your privilege. Um, we're talking about uh moving on, changing all the historic brands that have racial ties. Taking, taking them down. down the confederate history mm. fucking so i wish we could damn i wish i was as knowledgeable of this like off top but I, um if i'm not mistaken y'all could chime in too yeah uh wasn't it like the confederacy was like uh the, the southern states trying to kind of like kind of like go be their own country yeah. because you can yeah like east state again i'm not the best at this but i know east state has its own independence and if they want they can try to like branch off right yeah and during that time i guess damn i can't i really can't break it down i I know it but i can't really articulate it i mean so essentially you had the union which is the north they right. won right. that's that's what we are basically we, we came from the union and you had the confederacy in the south that was trying to succeed and become their own because they didn't like the the way that the country was going right but then one of the biggest things that ended up being major in it all was slaves. slavery you know yeah. what i'm saying uh-huh. and, uh, right so when one of the biggest things that lincoln did he, and to be honest the reason why i feel personally that he did it was because he needed more people to fight that's no yeah, no but, that's, like, that's what i'm yeah. about to say like honestly i was about to say so on so somebody i had this great conversation with somebody about why they didn't um sell why they don't celebrate juneteenth and it makes sense 
Because it's like, it wasn't like, first of all, why are we celebrating something? This is his point, just just letting it. Why are we celebrating something that we shouldn't have to been, ha, shouldn't have to been going through from the jump? The same like, reason so, why we celebrated 4th of July and we was going through it. Okay, so the fact okay. that slavery wasn't, slavery shouldn't have been there in the first place, why would we celebrate something that there? Because it was. Because it was. Right. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, even if we all know it shouldn't have been. We shouldn't be still dealing with it to this day, to this day, to this day. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, yeah, we shouldn't have been doing it. But guess what? We were, we as a total, we were finally free. And that's a big celebration. That's a big milestone in history that we didn't even get taught. Like how many of us didn't even learn about Juneteenth till we was older? Mm. I didn't even, I never knew, bro. I think That's I something 20, I was taught when I got older. 21. You get what I'm saying? Like, right, like, and even when they were free, they still wasn't free. Well, they still had to wait more time. Like, come on now. So yes, as a celebratory factor, I think I think we should celebrate all our big wins. Like, you know what I'm saying? All our, our you know what I'm saying? Like, to think that our ancestors was like that, bro, and they finally got a breath of, you know what I'm saying? Yo, that's worth, that's worth celebrating, bro. They so, didn't get to breathe for a long time. Shit, we still ain't breathing, but shit, that was a big start to why we are right today. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So yes, I think we should celebrate it. No, the country, you know, yeah, we shouldn't have been dealing with that anyway. Yeah, we shouldn't be having to deal with a lot, but that's still just like, I mean, shit, we shouldn't fucking celebrate Columbus Day. I don't even know. Niggas how to still see. off. You still gonna take your day off for work, ain't you? You ain't gonna be like, I'm still gonna work because I'm not celebrating Columbus Day because this nigga stole us. No, you you still gonna be right at work. You gonna enjoy your day off. You might go to the beach. You gonna pop open a beer. You might cook a dinner because you got an extra day. Like you still gonna celebrate that? Like why the fuck would you celebrate that? No, you got a point. Bro. Like, mm -mm. oh man, uh, we're trying to. Oh, but also just to add on to that, some of the brands that are being canceled, not canceled. Well, yeah, canceled. Uh, Aunt Jemima. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. We had cream of wheat, and there was one more that, that we've been. Well, it should be so many. The rest, our whole, our whole life, bro. It should be so much more canceled, though. Like, I mean, I, I feel like it's gonna be a ripple effect. Yeah. Like, yeah, I feel like yeah, we've because, been having this conversation for so long. No, I don't think I've had. I don't think I've seen this happen, though. I don't think I've seen this happen, which does another big milestone in history because I don't think I've ever I never knew that Aunt Jemima on the on the fucking pancake box was blackface bro right never knew it. I've been eating I've watched these pancakes been bought that's the only pancake brand I buy right but what I'm saying and I think that's the higher quality brand I'm like oh I don't want the giant store brand give me the Aunt Jemima but if you if you knew I had no idea if you knew would you have canceled it because we know so many other um brands are are racist but we still support them Okay, so what I will say is this, like at the end of the day, like when I know I'm trying to do something to fix it, it's really hard because we're built on this land that none of us, that nobody, none of our ancestors ever owned. Like so many of these things have been installed for so long, but once you find out, I think it is time to make changes. Like, you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, I don't know. Like, but when I do know, I don't wear a Tommy Hilfiger. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I do find out, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm canceling certain things. Like, nah, I'm good. But, like, we don't know until we know. Like, mm. you know, if that's the case, like I was saying before, like, at the end of the day, all these grocery stores we shop and all these places, these gas stations we go, like, these ain't black owned. However, you know, sometimes we don't have the resources to go ahead and outsource on those things. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we still have a long way to go, but it's not something that we could cancel out completely because at that point, we better know how to farm and build our own things, everything. A hell of a, all of us ain't carpenters. I'm sorry. All of us, you know, are out here being landscapers. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, we still got to hire somebody to do that motherfucking shit. So we have to do it at, like, we have to do, we have to take everything in doses with a grain of salt and take it as we come and try our best to every day move forward in a more knowledgeable light where we spend our money. <clears throat> no, it's not right. something we're going to be able to do overnight because we still have a long way to a go. A long way to go. And it's okay. Yeah. We're 400 years behind. It's going to take us some time. Uh, but we're going to get there. To be honest, I think, and to add to that, I think it's longer than that. Like, people yeah. often say the 400 years of slavery, but that led into uh, segregation. segregation. Yep. And then we had Jim Crow laws. And yep. then now we have the public lynching of yep. black men yep. by yep. the police yep. officers. So, shit. So, we still, point, we still fighting we, right we, now, we, to be honest. We behind, but we gonna catch up. <clears throat> what's the um? What's the name of the boy that, that got signed? Oh, what's his name? Keyshawn. Key, it's, he was 12 years old. He got signed by he, Warner Bros. Yo, he sang. That shit gave me chills, bro. I was so proud of him. He sang that song, and they're calling it the uh, anthem. 
I didn't um, see it. Yeah. Oh, you got to see it. You have to see it. I didn't see it. Um. So hold on. Alex is gonna get us the name. Uh. So he made a anthem for. You know, black men through br- police brutality. Oh, I uh, think after I did George see. So, Floyd. Ke- Kedron Bryant is his Kedron name. Kedron Bryant. Ke- I think Kedron I did Bryant. see that. He, th- he had it, like he black had, on or something. So yes, he had a black shirt on. I remember the song that. Was called like "I Want to Live." Okay, like, I remember it that. Is, and he was just saying, "I just want to live." I and loved it they, so much. Shout out to them. Shout out to him. What I didn't like is though he signed a Warner Bros. I would have loved to see him be signed to a black label, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I guess that's hard to do. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know if it's... You said that yesterday when we were in our meeting. Is it any black major labels? I don't think it's any black... Ma- we have, of course, we have Rock Nation, but it's not any black major labels. MMG, but that, they signed to somebody else. Yeah, it's not a major. Like, it's, it's, it's like a contract deal. Yeah, well, <laughs> I still wish him well. That's still a major position to be in 12 years old you got signed you went viral um and he could sing boy he sounds so good i was so proud of him and he was like the epitome like when you think of like your black son like he gave me like damn that could be my black son like you know right there singing that so i really thought it was dope and i'm really proud of him shout, shout out, out to him, him. Man. i love you i tell all the little black boys i love them yesterday i was around so many little black boys i always be like i love you they can give me hugs i love you you gotta tell you gotta tell all the black boys you you love them for real yeah they's like look at her she look good yeah i love you too no what them little boys kept little six-year-olds kept flirting with me i was like i love you they was like can you open my juice <laughs> so let me open your juice <laughs> don't get carried, don't get carried away flirting with these little boys I they're gonna love, be, be hug yeah, you, know, hug keep, you like a little dog you know what i'm saying like little nasty boys but it's just my obsession with having a black disgusting. son one day but nah man jim and i scope your podcast that was <laughs> wait what she looked at you. Dude. Yeah, She's, you ain't here. I heard it. Right. <laughs> he, he loves to act like he ignores me when he says it. Yeah, we're gonna have a black son one day. Yes, yeah, little brown chocolate, little ting. Put him on all the sun. He gonna have all the melanin. Would you? Would you have a junior? Would you name? We're a not naming him Jerome. Wait, yo. We're I just said junior. I ain't <laughs> said the oh. government. No, my bad. No, we're gonna name him Jay, and we have a girl. We're gonna name her Jada. Mm-hmm. Jada Hill. Gemini Scope your podcast brought to you by <laughs> Luke Belair. Shout out to Luke Belair. We appreciate you for keep bringing um bringing us the shipments, bringing even us during, the vibes, even during this time of um quarantine, I don't know, COVID. Yeah, quarantine and this pandemic. Yo, are we even still quarantined anymore? Niggas is outside. Uh, niggas, outside is open. It's lit. Outside is open. I'm had to speaking society. Speaking you want of, society? Yeah, speaking outside. Episode thirty. We appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all uh, press the notification button on the YouTube. Make sure y'all subscribe. And yo. If you're watching this, go on Instagram and like recruit somebody because like everybody is on Instagram. Like our videos is just on Instagram. No, YouTube. Take them to YouTube. Yeah, please. We appreciate you. This is my Scorpio podcast. Hailer Bay, Mr. J Hill, Wildman Productions, Pink Celebrity, Monique, uh, Malachi is here, Alex is here. We appreciate you. We out. It's a wrap. We out. Happy Father's Day. Gang, gang. <laughs>